Welcome to Life Journey. I'm making this video because I went for an interview on a job. Yes, my friend. Uh, to sell insurance, to sell life insurance. And I was betwixt two opinions whether to choose life insurance or whether to choose life. My friend, I am a minister of the book of Jesus Christ. My job is to, pers to persuade and to present life to people. Yes, my friend, my job is to present life, not life. Insurance, glory to God, which is good to have, but God laid on my heart to tell the people that's watching this video, and I dedicate this video to my seven children, glory to God, to my seven children, and seven reasons why your life insurance is not enough for life, seven reasons why your life insurance is not enough for life. Now, you might want to leave your loved one money, monetary funds to pay off the mortgage or to, to send the kids to school, to college, to pay off your estate, just to pay off your mortgage, my friend. But seven reasons why your life insurance is not enough for life now life is in jesus glory to god you start living when you accept jesus christ in your life hey glory to god because jesus christ said i am the way the truth and the life hey oh glory to god so i'm telling you there are seven reasons why your life insurance is not enough for life now, Jesus say in, in, in St. Uh, John, the 11th chapter, verse uh, uh, 23 through 27, Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. Mother said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he was dead, yet he shall live, and whatsoever and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which shall come into this world. So today my assignment is to you to present life to you, not life insurance. Hey, glory to God. I'm not going to sell you life insurance. I'm going to present life to you. And the first reason is there is a place waiting for you. Whether you believe it or not, we all want to stand before God. Hey, glory to God. It's going to be a heaven or it's going to be a second death. Glory to God, which is the lake of fire. If you're born once, you're going to die twice. And if, you, if you're if you born twice, you're going to die once. And let me explain that to you. If you're born from your mother's womb once, you're going to die from this earth. And you're going to die in a second place, which is called the lake of fire. Now, if you're born once. Twice, hey, glory to God, born from your mother's womb and born again from heaven, you're going to die once. Hey, glory to God. Or oh, if the rapture take place, you will not taste of death. So there's a place waiting for you. Number two, Jesus Christ is life. He say, Hi, hallelujah, I am the resurrection and the life. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, yes, my friend, Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Jesus Christ was the first one to conquer death. He said, oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? So Jesus Christ, glory to God, was the first one, a glory to God, to conquer death. Hallelujah. Buddha didn't conquer death. 
Confucius didn't conquer death. Allah or, or Muhammad didn't conquer death. Russell Light didn't conquer death. Helen G. White didn't conquer death. But Jesus Christ conquered death. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Number third reason, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. So Jesus Christ is the way. Hey, glory to God. And he's the truth and he's the life. So, so, so your life insurance is not enough. You need life. That's why we need Jesus. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number four reason, Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, you must. Hallelujah. It's command. You must be born again. Now, Jesus Christ, hey, glory to God, told Nicodemus. Hey, glory to God. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, as if a man be born again, he can see the kingdom of God. And he say, as if a man be born of the heaven, of the, of the water and the spirit, he can enter into the kingdom of God. My Nicodemus told Jesus Christ, shall a man enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus Christ said, no, Nicodemus, you must be born again. Hey, glory to God. And I'm a fifth reason. Hey, glory to God. A man's life is not the thing that he left behind, but what he gained, which is repentance of his sin to receive, sal to receive salvation. So you must repent. Hey, that's the first step is repentance of your sin. That's the first step. The second step is to, to, to make sure that you believe to receive salvation. Hey, glory to God, because you must believe to receive. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And stop listening to people that are saying Jesus Christ is not real because he's real, because he saved my soul. Hey, yes, my friend, he saved my sinful soul. Oh, glory to God. So your life insurance is not enough. You need life. And the sixth, and the sixth thing you need to do is, is bapti baptize is a representation of being buried in relationship with Jesus Christ's death to receive the new life. You must be, be dipped, my friend. You must be born again. You must go under the water. The Bible says, shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that a day to sin live any longer therein? So we must be baptized. We must be dipped in the water. Not sprinkled. Hey, glory to God. Not a touch of the water. You must go under the water. Hey, glory to God. And the seventh thing you must do, if you are a sinner, hey, glory, if you are a sinner and die in your sin, you want to stand before a holy God which is going to ask you is your name in the Lamb Book of Life, which is the register of accepting Jesus Christ while you're on earth. Many services you have rejected his grace and mercy but you put it off for another day which came and you die in your sin and you're standing before god even though you have life insurance you left for your family but you're going to miss life because life start my friend when you accepted jesus christ as your lord and your savior Hey, glory to God. Your family is enjoying your, 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 your monetary funds and your estate. But you are in a place of darkness, weeping and gnashing of teeth because of the heat. The worm died not in everlasting darkness. No party in hell. No pretty girl in hell. No handsome boys in hell. No bar in hell. No hotel room or hotel in hell. A place you're going to spend the rest of your life in eternity. A place called hell. My friend, your life insurance is not enough. You need to make a, 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 a repentance of your lips. Hey, glory to God. You need to make a confession, the ABC plan, accepting, bow to him, and confess that he's Lord and he's Christ of your life. Hey, glory to God. Your life insurance is $100 million, but your life insurance is not enough. You need Jesus. 
you need a Holy Ghost. You need a salvation. You need to know who, who, who Jesus Christ is, but not even know him. You need to acknowledge him. You need to confess him. You need to say, Lord, come into my life today. Today is the day of salvation. Today, God said, repent of your sin and come to me, daughter and son. Today is your birthday. Today is the day that you say, Lord, come into my life. Save me right now, oh God. Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not a day that's gonna, gonna happen. The Bible says, boast not for tomorrow because we know not what tomorrow may bring. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day you accept him, hallelujah, or reject him. And I'm telling you, my friend, we gotta accept him in a pardon of your sin. Because your life insurance is not enough. You need life. Life start with Jesus. Because he said that if you don't believe that I am he, you're going to die in your sin. Seven reasons why your, your, your life insurance is not enough. But you need life. And life is Jesus Christ. Don't let nobody fool you. I know you have all the money in the bank. I know you have your IRA. I know you have your CDs and all the Ds, my friend. Degrees on the wall. I know your estate is paid for. Hey, glory to God. But you still need Jesus. Hey, glory to God. You still need the Holy Ghost. You still need to know who Jesus is before you die in your sin and wake up in a Christless place call hell and the lake of fire i wrote a book and i'm gonna show you glory to god a place called hell and the lake of fire and i'm telling you my friend hell is real don't let nobody fool you that hell is a fairy tale hell is real and I'm telling you you got to believe in the, the reality of hell because hell is a place was prepared for the devil and his angel but many people hallelujah have decided to say hell no I don't believe in hell but whether you believe it or not it still exists Carlton Pearson decided to say hell don't exist and they kicked him out of church. They kicked him out of the organization and now he have another calling. He glory to God saying that hell, God is too merciful to send anybody for hell. You're right, Carlton Pearson. God don't send nobody to hell. We decided to damn God and God turn around and damn you because the Bible says he that believe it not shall be saved. He that believe it not shall be damned. He that believe it and baptized shall be saved. He that believe it not shall be damned. So you damn yourself when you don't believe in Jesus Christ. So God don't send nobody to hell. We decided to say that I don't believe in hell. And guess what happened? By you not believing, you're going to receive the punishment of your belief. So I'm telling you, my friend. There's a place called hell and the lake of fire.